lives. I'm Melanie. I'm Joy. I'm no one. And she's our bestie, so it's okay. Yes. <laughs> she's a part of the cool curls club. <laughs> I was like, I'm no wife. I'm Tababa Jen. Hi, Hi, Dababa Jen. Jen. She's one of our moderators on Discord, and no one ever says moderator, so she's our mod. Mod. (laughs) She keeps it happening in there. And then, Joy, who are you? Shane's wife. Ah. It's It's been forever since I've been on here, but I'm so excited to be here tonight. And I'm Melanie. I'm Aaron's wife. Yeah. Just kidding. I agree. (laughs) I'm just kidding. We love you, Aaron. So... We are here. <laughs> yes, she does. Like. <laughs> we are here for drum roll. This is us season three premiere. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> you guys are all excited. I'm like, we're gonna cry. We guys. are. So we we're are going pre- to cry. Prepared. These are okay. our pops for today. Did you guys? <laughs> did you guys call Calvin? He brought the tissues to us. Yeah. Isn't that so nice of him? He's such a sweetie. Yay, Calvin single. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just get to it. What happened last season? A lot. We finally found out how Jack died. We did. And it wasn't to the fire. It wasn't yeah. through the fire. Well, kind of. Yes. Kinda. Secondary. Right. Right. <laughs> that was a huge thing for me because I really, really, I truly thought that he died in the fire. I was like, <gasps> yeah, everybody was prepared like, for it. Like, it's here. Megan Kelly completely spoiled me on it. I'm like, screw oh. you. <laughs> oh, I know. But we had the f- the fire. Yes. But then we had the hospitalization. Oh. Where Rebecca walks out of the room. Yep. Decides to curse out some Snickers. Yes. And she just chews it like she didn't hear anything, right? Bex. She was in Isn't shock. Isn't that all she heard? Yeah. She heard she that over her shoulder. And then she turned around. Yes. yes. Oh, man. I'm confused <gasps> already. <laughs> Me too. Oh. It was such an emotional scene, it right? Was. It was like, and especially like when they did the flashback and they saw all the memories that they had together. Oh. Like my goosebumps are just standing on so sad. Right now. It's no. Like this whole series has been so good, so good, but so bad. Like at <laughs> the same time, I'm like, I don't want to watch it. Like I don't I feel ready for I it. I know. Yeah. And then of yeah. course, yeah. We had wasn't the wedding last season it was. too? So yeah, we had Kate's end. wedding. But she also she also lost the baby before she got married. That's yeah. True. Ugh, that so was a hard one. So is she gonna too. try again? Mm. We'll have to mm. see. I think we'll have to see. I think her honey would be a good daddy. Yes. I love him so I know. much. <laughs> I know. He's amazing. He's like my kind of man. <laughs> so how are you with no? <laughs> <laughs> um, Randall with his adoption. Oh. Yeah, with Deja. Deja, Deja which yeah. we had our first flash forward. Yes. This oh, yeah, season. that's right. I forgot about that. And then we that don't know who tricky. they're talking about because they're like, do you want to go visit her? So you don't know if it's, you don't know if it's the mom mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. a sister mm-hmm. or somebody. Yeah, I don't know. It's going to be interesting. This season. Absolutely. I think they've done a pretty good job to set the season up to be filled with stuff. To- yeah. To just be looking forward to, not looking forward to, dreading. (laughs) Yes. I think with this show, you have to literally be emotionally prepared. If you're a crier, you will be a crier. You've got to be prepared with the tissues. But you know what I love so much about the show is that it is like real life stories. You know what I'm saying? And I love the flashbacks, being able to figure out who Jack was and who he is and the kind of dad that everyone wants to be and the mom. You know, like, I am just excited. I'm so excited about this. From the outside looking in, you're probably like, that is the perfect family. We want to be just like that family. Absolutely. And now we're looking behind closed doors. Yep. And it's like, yep. that family's messed up. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah you, every, absolutely. Exactly. We all have our flaws and our failures. And For sure. Yeah, so anyway, we're excited to be here. Yay! All right, so let's get started, guys. Anything else? <laughs> Joy can hit the button. Yeah! Who is this Harris guy? Yeah! yeah. That's right. what I'm just writing football stealers. Yes. Like, who, who the hell is he? Are we supposed to know him? I don't know. I don't know. Him before? Mm. I don't know, but we do know mm. that they're mm. big Steelers fans. Yes. And, yes. Well, at this time, Jack is a Steelers fan. Oh, yeah. I didn't yes. realize that she. Yeah. That well, remember, it came with the marriage. Yeah. He, he yeah. taught her. Yes. He's like, yes. my dad never yes. taught me anything about football. And that's where they started to really yeah. bother. Yeah, I remember. Teaching mm-hmm. and. 
Like, I thought that was so sweet. And then she became the diehard mm -hmm. fan. And then he's like, whoa, woman. <laughs> yep, <laughs> That's true. yep, yep. I forgot about that. Back down. That was season one stuff, right? Mm -hmm. I was season one stuff. I don't know. Aaron and I binged one and two, so. That's true. Can all run together. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I organized everything by character. <laughs> I did too, but then I kept on going over. Yeah. Well, because, idea. like, it's, it's just so staggered, yeah. so. First off, uh. it looks like Batman built like a truck. <laughs> I was like, I like that. He was in the original, not the original, but um, Smallville. Yeah, Smallville. He was the original. Oh, Green and Arrow. I fell in love with him then. I was yeah, like, oh, he's so hot. I think he's our age, right? Like right now, he's our age. Mm. I, 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 I think I, he's older. I doubt that he's really thirty-eight. I think he's like, no, I'm telling you, I think he's probably thirty-five. Probably. -ish. All I know is that Mandy Moore is older than all three of the older actors. Interesting. That plays her kids. Yeah. <laughs> Five. Yeah. A smidge. <laughs> What about Jack? Is he actually? How old is he in real life? Then? No. Yeah. I am DB. <laughs> How old is Jack? How looks old like is... Batman built like a truck. And why you want to crap where you eat? I, I, I was I writing love... all those quotes down. I was like, I, I love, love her. Um, all the argument going on in the oh, other room. That was funny. While Kevin's trying to have a cool conversation with the girls. Yes. <laughs> well. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking, and it's nothing serious or anything like real. We're just talking. He was born in '77. Oh wow, he's older than what I thought. Mm -hmm. He's 41. Kevin is also born in '77. 41. What? So they're the same age. Wow. Wow, he looks good for 41. Yeah. Kate is 1980. Oh, okay. Wait, okay. Mandy Moore is 34? She is 34 years wow. old. Wait, so she's younger than all the kids. Yes. That's what I said. She's oh, younger yeah. than older. Yeah. No. yeah, yeah. the mom is younger than all the kids. Yep. <laughs> Which oh. is so funny, because, I mean, they do her makeup so well whenever mm -hmm. she's playing old she's mom. Older. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then she does a good job mm -hmm. being motherly. Yeah. yeah. Motherly, yeah. So. Well, we didn't get any of her. Who are they? Who is? Who are they gonna look? Ah! Who are they what? gonna see? The <laughs> I can't end. get words out. At the very end, with the flash forward. Oh, it's gotta be Kate. Yeah. Well, Kate wasn't in the bed nope. with Toby, so either she's at the bedside with whoever it is right now. Yep. We're gonna see her, but it's gotta be someone that th they find him. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, because the mom's still alive, mm -hmm. and of course we didn't see Beth the whole time. Mm -hmm. She, he's like, "Come on, Tess, we gotta go say goodbye." Or is it Deja? Is Deja actually sick? Deja, mm. Beth, Kate, Kate, maybe their child. The mom, if they have a maybe. Baby. Yes, could Rebecca. be. Yep. Oh, who could it be? Oh, this is gonna be the new thing of who is it? <sighs> Instead of like, how did Jack die? How did Jack die? Yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> this is gonna be the new thing. Which I do like how they do that. Leave us hanging. You know, keeps you guessing the whole season and comes you back. Up we and come, it makes you come back for more. I to cannot wait to more. watch episode two. Me too. I know, right? But wow. Well, I have to say, oh my gosh, the little actress that plays Deja. Mm -hmm. She's so she good. She hits home. Mm -hmm. Like, I wonder, mm -hmm. did she actually have a hard life? Because mm -hmm. she's able to channel that so well. Mm -hmm. And, like, she stays distant from Randall. And she plays that distant card so well. Like, yeah. I'm the whole time I'm like, whoa. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, we are not the same. Yeah. Like, Randall does everything to say, I was adopted too. Oh, no. It's so hard to be no. adopted. And she's right. Like, yeah. she's watching her parents pass her up. Yeah. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So, I think that storyline is just, like, it's just so brutal. Well. I mean, that right there happens all the time every day. Those kind of situations, you guys, like... <sighs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Especially with my work history. I've witnessed oh. this many times. Mm. And it's... it's it, mm, mm -mm. Mm, it, it's one of those things I cannot work for CPS because that rage in me does not stay down. <laughs> I can't imagine. can't imagine. Oy. Okay. So we found out that Kate has... PCOS. PCOS. Polycystic ovarian syndrome. Okay. Which is... 
So it's where you keep developing lots of cysts on your ovaries. Ooh. And it also makes you insulin resistant. So more than likely she's type 2 diabetic. Gotcha. Plus she's overweight, yeah. definitely type 2 diabetic. Yeah. But it's also really, really, really hard to lose weight. Mm -hmm. So she has lots of cards playing against her. Mm -hmm. And it is difficult mm -hmm. to get pregnant mm -hmm. because you have all the cysts yep. and all yeah. the hormones yep. remaining. Yep. So she has that. She also is <sighs> morbidly obese. Yes. I mean, yes. her BMI is extremely up there. Yeah. It is extremely dangerous to do surgery on mm -mm. morbidly obese people because yep. it's hard to keep them breathing and medications balance. So what's the danger of her taking IVF? So IVF, if she were to get pregnant... So, for one, she does have to do the daily hormone injections, and that could, the PCOS could counteract, it could develop more cysts, she could get hydatiform moles. Like I'm sorry, I'm making this a health lesson, because I don't understand. And <laughs> no, I we wanna, wanna, I want to okay. know, too. She's the nurse, so okay. she's the expert, and she's I'm telling us what this stuff means. <laughs> but then, if she does get pregnant, it is really dangerous. Like, Dangerous for her and the child? Both. Okay. Yeah. Especially, like, type 2 diabetes, you have risks there. Morbidly obese, it's whether or not the baby will have a safe ride, safe passage. Mm -hmm. IVF, if they do do the surgery to do it, putting her under to inject and Ooh. grab. So, IVF, you take the um, ovum, um, ovum, egg. Mm -hmm. You take the egg, mm -hmm. and then you insert the sperm, mm -hmm. you grow it, mm -hmm. and then you insert it. Oh. So you take it out of the body. Wow. And then put it in. Wow. I didn't know it was then this whole procedure. It wow. okay. So it, that's why she said it's very, very invasive. Oh. Gotcha. So it's invasive because you have to go in there. Oh. I didn't understand. I thought eggs. IVF was just... Turkey like, baster? <laughs> no, I just thought it was the shots to make the girl... Hormone balance yes. to yes. get fertile. <laughs> to get fertile. I didn't know it was a whole take it out Ooh. and do the magic, put it back in. And then since her body's not producing the correct hormones, yeah. that's why she has to do the yeah. daily injections. Okay. Right. So she, which are probably progesterone, okay. I assume. So a lot of stuff, and they're now willing to risk it, right? Well, which is scary. Is. I think that yes. she's going to die. I, think that's, <laughs> I know. That's and the, then Toby was like, no, let's screw it, right? And they were like, screw it, screw it, screw it. And then she gets a call, and they're, she's like, oh, here we go. And then Toby's big thing was 90% failure <laughs> on his list. That was his, yeah. And, mm. like, it's, mm. I know, personally, a lot of people with PCOS, mm. and they've had several miscarriages, mm. like, back to back. So it's. It's scary, but I'm really hoping that they're giving, if she does get pregnant and they do push forward and have the full out pregnancy, that yes. they really do the rainbow baby. Yeah. Like, yeah. and promote the ram rainbow babies are babies that she are. She saw the look on my face <laughs> of rainbow baby. Yeah. Rainbow babies are babies come that after. came yeah. after a miscarriage. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So. Like, yes. and it's a big thing right now yeah. that people are trying to promote mm -hmm. and because mm -hmm. miscarriages are more common mm -hmm. than what people make them out to mm -hmm. be. This is, people don't talk about it. No. People don't talk about no. it. No. Especially, like, you go to the doctor and the doctor says, you, had, you just had a spontaneous abortion. We did mm -hmm. what? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. it's just... So, like, I'm really hoping that they push the rainbow baby with this. But I really don't want her to get pregnant because it's so scary. Yeah. Well, not now it's a double-edged sort of... It's not only Kate that's in danger, it's Toby because he threw his pills down in yes. hopes to get her pregnant, to give her what... Their relationship, I know it's supposed to be happy and people love them, but me, it's... It's so one-sided with Kate for me, mm -hmm. where it's everything she wants. And Kate, uh, Toby's doing everything that she wants yes. to make him happy. And yes. it destroys me because yes. he is being destroyed inside as well. I and know. it's like she doesn't care. No. no. Unless it's a big thing. Yeah. Like, she doesn't... It's not that she doesn't care. She just hasn't opened her eyes. Yeah. Like, she's so narrow-minded. Yeah. It's She's being selfish, but not in a... Like, Right. In right. a negative she's not doing it purposely. No. She really wants to have a baby. Yeah. Now you know, like yeah, yeah, she really does. And it doesn't sound like she really wants to do adoption. No. But I am mm -hmm. worried for Toby. Mm -hmm. Depends on how medically based they get with this and depends on what uh antidepressant he was on. Mm. There's severe repercussions repercussions yes. of just stopping yes. your antidepressants. Mm. 
Like, you can be hospitalized. Mm -hmm. Like, it's it's severe. Like, he could die. But we know that he doesn't because he's there in the yes. future. He didn't commit suicide. Yes. He's, right. he's, he's, like, he's alive! <laughs> like, Kate might not be, or oh, she might be in a hospital bed. We don't know what's going on. So, it is very worrisome. <laughs> Madison's trying so hard. You remember her name? Because I, I did it. She's so good with I think it's Madison. I don't know. I wrote down Madison. <laughs> Madison, I love her. I hated her, and I just grew to love her. Yeah. She, like yeah. you said, she tries so hard. She's so earnest yes. in keeping that yes. friendship and yes. working it. Yeah. And Kate's so self-involved sometimes. I know. Though it's, she has every reason to be self-involved right. in that moment. Right. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. It's like it's a carrot cake. <laughs> like, what do you say when someone just pours out their heart to you? Yeah. Like, it's awkward. You're like, mm -hmm. do I say something? Do I just sit here and say nothing? Like, but that was that was a tough that was a tough scene for me. Like, her just sharing that, you know, like, just came out. She just spilled out her heart, right? And you're just like, you don't understand. So many women go through this kind of stuff, and it's just it just so relates to a lot of women. The show just knows, you know. The show knows, man. The show has good writers. Absolutely, the writers are, are incredible. Oh my gosh, incredible. Yes. yes. So okay, and then we learned that Jack and Rebecca went on a date. Yeah. And it wasn't everything that we thought it was gonna be. <laughs> nine dollars, you guys. Nine dollars. He had nine dollars. Which would be the equivalent of like fifteen dollars now, I guess, for a date. Maybe twenty. Yeah, maybe twenty bucks. Yeah, because yeah. going yeah. to the carnival, yeah. that's like eight dollars a piece, maybe. Yes. Now, because I was thinking then, like because the um, the fair was eight bucks a person. Yeah. 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 So that was two fifty. Yeah. A person. The candy apple Sorry. with the hot chocolate being two fifty <laughs> blew my mind. Because I paid five dollars. Two dollars. It was two. I paid five dollars and fifty cents for a freaking apple for my apple, <laughs> which I didn't even finish. No, it wasn't any, any good. She brought it home. She's like, "Here, you guys can have the rest." And I tried it. And I'm like, Whoa. <laughs> it wasn't that good. <laughs> she was disappointed. <laughs> I love the funnel cake though. Oh, funnel the funnel cake, cake was great. delicious. Which was. Six bucks or seven? Six. And seven I'm sure, extra. I'm sure we have Californians watching this, and they're like, only six bucks? Only six? Oh, I know. <laughs> it's it's 15 over there. here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that... Inflation. <laughs> I think the part that was crazy was like, we need to get an umbrella, and he's like, you don't need an umbrella. It's not raining that hard. It's, it's not, not pouring the rain. And they're just standing there like awkwardly like, why didn't he get me an umbrella? Yeah. Like, what's going on here? Right? But it's just sad because, yeah. you know, like he had no money. He was so broke. I know. Right? But he was trying so I hard. Know, I know. And I like at the very end of their date, she's like, yeah, this is not working out. <laughs> like basically like. Yeah. But then the way you look at me. The and I don't do this to everybody. I don't do this to everyone. I don't everyone. do this to everybody. And just. <laughs> <laughs> Slams it in. I knew that kiss was coming. And left her jacket. Yes, left her jacket. Learning a few things. Yes. Learning all these tips uh, down. Yes. As the only single lady <laughs> at this single. table. All the single ladies. All the single ladies. Remember in Zumba? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Okay, so date was good. Yes. Kevin. Well, I love that they show that too. Sorry to go oh, back. Oh, no, no, no. But they show that yeah. their marriage isn't the happy. No. Their first date wasn't the best first no, date. No, not at all. No. I like seeing that. Yes. I know. It's honest. It yeah. is. It was absolutely just, it was good for us to see that. What were you going to say? I'm sorry. No, I was just okay. saying, so Kevin is, what did he say? What's the word that she was saying? B b kicking the butt or kicking the, what was, what was um, Beth? Beth saying that they were doing? Oh, knocking boots. What's that? Knocking boots. <laughs> <laughs> they are knocking boots. <laughs> we say that down in the south. So, <laughs> yes. So that whole ordeal. I, I like them together. They're I do. Like Beth is like she is going to eat you up and chew you. Like, like she's done with ever. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, chew you up and spit you out. <laughs> and you're like, yeah. Well, Kevin does the same thing. Yeah, he did the same so thing. So they're great for each other. Like, the girl that he was with since first grade yeah. got married yeah. to, got divorced, yeah. got back together yeah. with. Like, yeah. But, like, I think people give him a lot of flack, too. He's dealing with his own depression. Abs ooh, absolutely. That he's not handling as well as Randall did. Right. Or is outward like Kate is. Yes. He tries to keep it in. Yes, he keeps it And in. it bumbled out, mm -hmm. and it ruined his mm -hmm. marriage. It ruined his career. career. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. Oh, my gosh, yes. Not that it gives him 
space to do what he does. Right. He's a womanizer, and that's Absolutely. horrible. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, some people like it, though. <laughs> Actually, I'll tell you guys, it reminded me of Shane, okay? <laughs> because when I first met Shane... <laughs> I didn't say it. No, I know, <laughs> I know, but I just had to clear the air. Is that when I first met Shane, yes, I fell head over heels, like, oh my gosh, this guy is, like, everything I want. And then his friends were like, Joy, stay away. He is a womanizer. Like, you don't want anything to do with him. And I'm like, okay, well, then then I don't want to be, right? That, that reminds me of Kevin. Yeah. Right? Because he's, you know, he's a womanizer, and she, like, Beth was telling her, listen, she's going to ch- hew you out, spit you out, that kind of thing. Like, but that's how Shane was. Yeah. But, you know, he got me, and all is good. We're going on 12 years of marriage in December, so. Definitely can see a lot of Shane and Kevin. Yeah. Like, the whole, like, back when or she got together with him, Shane looked fairly like that. <laughs> Similar. He's changed a little bit over the years, but no, absolutely. I mean, it just when he said that, like, I'm just like, oh my gosh, Shane. But he also has like Shane and I have in depth conversations a lot, like what Kevin does, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. I, I can definitely see a lot of aspects like uh, yeah. Shane, which is awesome because Kevin's hot. <laughs> <laughs> that changes my feelings about Kevin. <laughs> Turn off. <laughs> Okay, awesome. So, but the whole half smile, which turns into oh, a full yeah. smile, I love that. That was adorable. <laughs> so cute. That was adorable. They have cute moments, and I don't think we've seen them have those kind of cute moments with a girl. Yeah, it's always been more serious. Very or, true. Yeah, very true. True. Or more like. But it's right. also newer in the relationship, you guys. Yeah. Right? You all know. Honeymoon stage. Mm, yes. <laughs> Yeah, it's all butterflies in the beginning. Then you have to work on it after that. But uh. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Us married veterans. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So anyway, so that was good. Um, and then, you know, Kate and Toby were in the kitchen. She got the call. Yeah. From, right? Uh, from the doctor. I don't remember Me the doctor. either. Name. Darn it. <laughs> Didn't matter because she was Some, mean. Yeah. <laughs> So. I remember she was in Critical Role. Mila. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, That's so weird. they got the call right after they said, screw it, right? Screw it. I know. I... They made the decision to screw it, don't worry about it, and then boom, she gets the call, and the Kate's like, okay, here we go. And the Toby's like, are you kidding me? I wonder why. Right. I say this as a person who's not a mother, so it's totally different for you guys, I guess. Like, why, and maybe y'all feel differently when, you know, mm-hmm. but... Why is adoption so off the page for her when her brother is adopted? And she sees, mm. she loves Randall absolutely, so much. Yeah, absolutely. So why is it so off the table? There's just that special connection whenever mm. you get to carry your own It's child. your own baby. There is, like, I can get goosebumps just thinking of it. Like, mm-hmm. thinking of my three pregnancies, like... I'm getting emotional because, like, it, is, it was so special. Like, every person, I think every woman wants to, I mean, not every woman, I guess, but they, it's a motherhood thing. Like, yes. it's a motherly instinct to carry a baby yourself and just be able to deliver that baby knowing that you and your partner, like, created this human being. Yeah. It's, like, it, it's pretty special. <laughs> absolutely. And if, like, she wants it so freaking yeah, bad, right, Baba? Like, mm-hmm. she wants it so freaking bad. So, I don't know. Watch her end up with triplets. <laughs> <laughs> well, she was, yeah, so she was a twin, so. I, I don't know if adoption's going to ever be on the table for Kate, though. Because I think she just built her hopes up so much. Absolutely. That just accepting adoption's going to be accepting failure yeah, for her. Yeah, true. She wants the baby, so. so um, well, I'm excited to see what else her progresses in this season. I can't wait to watch episode two. Yeah. But Anything else? We got to swear on Oprah, y'all. <laughs> I don't know how you're ever gonna make this up to Oprah. Well, I, I gave her a donation. What'd she say? I gave donated her a donation to her. Name. <laughs> that was so funny. I just I love loved, what I love to think most about that part was like he literally turned his face smiling, like not looking at her. <laughs> yeah. And then what did he say after that? He was like, "You got to owe it or something." Oh, I don't know how you're gonna make yes, it up to Oprah. That was so funny to me. Like he was like smiling, like smirking. He's like, "I knew <laughs> you were gonna make it." Yeah. <laughs> But so. I love Beth and her type A personality. Like, she too. gets stuff done. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> How do I get from A to B? I'm going to figure this out. These people are together. I know that they're banging, right? Like, <laughs> I'm going to figure this and out. And Randall's just so laid back. Like, I know. I I, I, I know. Except he's not whenever. Like, he's so yeah. laid back in the relationship, yeah. but then he's so anal in real life. I know. I, I don't get it. Mm. Yeah. And then I love that they touched on 
Beth and Kevin's relationship because there's always at ends, yeah. and then she just straight up say, "I love I you." I love you. Yes, you're, you and know, I don't want to get hurt. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Touch on that. He's like, "I know you. I mean, I've known you for twenty years, right? Like, I love you. Like, she's gonna chew I you up and spit you out. You treat my. I liked how she said, "You treat my kids like they are people, yes. not kids." Yes, absolutely. And you saw in the in the hallway, right on the mm-hmm. stairs, how he was talking to them. So that was a really good scene. I love that they showed that, the relationship there. Definitely. And then, I don't know if it was a price for you guys, but, like, I thought she was mad because he was going to, like, she didn't want her cousin to get hurt by him. But then to be surprised it was, by the M. Night Shyamalan twist, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, I don't like, want her to hurt, to hurt you. you. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah. yeah. I know. That, that definitely surprised a shocker, for sure. I, I'm done with my notes. Uh, <laughs> I think that's all I have, too. So what made you tear up... The- in this episode. <laughs> I think you guys teared up way more because you guys have that mother connection. And I just, it didn't hit me yet. I know it hit me in the later episodes. But what got me was as soon mm. as Deja came in with a gift. Mm. And that's, I do want you. And yes. you know. <laughs> oh, God, want Deja you. always gets me. Yes. You, Joy? Okay, so that one was good too. But I think when they found out that, like, Kate could not get pregnant. Because I can't, I can't even imagine not having my kids right now. Like, it makes me emotional thinking of that. Like, if I went through that, and I saw so, so many women that struggle through, you know, with infertility and things like that, and just wanting to do whatever it takes, but to get the news, yeah. oh, I would die inside. Like, I would just, everything would just crumble, I think, to me. So that really got me emotional. Honestly, in this episode, what really got me, <sighs> which I don't even think phased you guys, as soon as she asked about the war, and it showed the flashback. Oh, yeah. <gasps> that did touch me, yeah. Yes. So, you know, that's going to come this season, and we're going to see that, and it's going to hit us hard. Yeah. I'm just thinking no, about it. No. I'm like, oh, my gosh. Mm. I, I don't know if I can do it. Mm-mm. Well, we can do this together. Uh, we got this. <laughs> and our <laughs> tissues that Calvin brought us. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. So. That was such a great episode. I'm, I'm super excited for the season. Definitely. Awesome. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. See you, Bye. Bye. Oh All right, guys. So, if you like this, make sure you subscribe to their YouTube page. It's not ours. It's theirs. We're just here. We're spoiling it. We're just the pretty people. <laughs> over there is your Patreon link. And then over there is your thumbs up. And then over there you can get shit. I don't know. Uh, click something. Bye, Bye guys.